Hi everyone, I'm Smiley Peace Fan and look at this, I have packed my stuff because I will go on a little journey again. I will go to New Orleans in America and also Orlando. I'm super excited because in New Orleans I will do an escape room tour led by the Room Escape Artist team. Those are very close friends of mine. We are all escape room enthusiasts that get together and literally go and play so many escape rooms together. I am so 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 looking forward to an escape room tour playing some of the absolute best escape rooms in the United States. And when that's done I will go to Orlando and enjoy all the theme parks and even more escape rooms and I hope everything will work. I hope I won't miss my flight again like I did last time because the train got stuck that was supposed to bring me to the airport. I hope this time things will work out smoother. I now need to get a good rest, a little bit of sleep, and tomorrow, very early in the morning, I will have to head to the airport. So, let's go! I made it! I'm here in the Moxie Hotel. Look what they did to my back. Oh my god. So when I had a layover in New York, they seemed to open my bag of custom and I guess they couldn't close it again. Kind of annoying, but I'm just glad that I'm here. No delays, no cancellations. I made it. Rise and shine. Well, good morning. I got myself some breakfast. I had a great sleep here at the hotel. Yesterday evening, we had a welcome party. I got to meet Lisa and David again. And we had so many awesome conversations. When I woke up this morning, I actually teared up a little bit because I'm just so grateful to have this escape room community, to have such a weird hobby but get to share that with so many passionate people. And also I'm just so thankful that I'm able to travel, that I am here on vacation and yeah, I'm just really happy right now. Looking forward to play the first few escape rooms today. So let's just chill a little bit until I have to go. And yeah, hopefully it will be a great day. Like a phoenix, you burst in a fire. Good morning everybody, it's pretty early in the morning of the next day. I played six escape rooms yesterday, some pretty nicely themed rooms with the jazz parlor, some amazing puzzles. Today we go to 13th Gate, known for a large set design, some Starbucks to start the day, and yeah, I need to live soon, so let's go. Get ready for first two electric boogaloo.
Well, good morning. I got my Starbucks as always. And yeah, the official New Orleans escape room tour with Room Escape Artist is sadly already over. We were at Virgin Gate in Baton Rouge yesterday, and they have some of the craziest set design I have ever seen in an escape room. I don't want to say all the puzzles were super, super inventive. But the set design and some of the reveals, wow, really, really wow. Overall, an amazing experience. If you love escape room, if you are willing to travel around the United States and or Canada, definitely go and check out roomescapeartist.com. They're good friends of mine. I love them so much. They're such amazing people. In fact, I am staying a little bit longer here in New Orleans to do even more escape rooms that are not part of the tour. But I got to meet some escape room enthusiasts who were like, do you want to tie all for more escape rooms? And I was like, of course I want to. So we're going to escape warehouse today, which is a little bit outside the city, but we got a rental car and my voice is already cracking. So yeah, let's go. Alright everyone, so the official New Orleans portion of my trip has officially ended. Pack my bags, got my backpack, and now I will travel to Orlando where I will do a lot of theme park stuff. Yeah, really excited. Hopefully the weather's gonna be warmer than it is here in New Orleans. It's pretty cold outside around here, <laughs> pretty windy, and I hope Orlando is a little bit warmer. And I want to go swimming. So yeah, um, safe travels and I hope I see you in Orlando. Hi everyone. As you can see, I made it to Orlando. I'm in that beautiful little cozy airbnb and look at this like it's a nice place especially like the shower everything i need but also look at the pool Well, good morning, it's the next day. I went and did an escape room at the Great Escape, I think they're called. And today I'm going to Universal, doing a VIP tour at Universal. I'm so excited. I've done VIP tours at Universal Los Angeles, but not in Orlando. And you need to know, people say that the fee parks in Orlando are even bigger than in California. So... My Uber's currently on the way. I am super excited. I think I might broke my laptop though. Well, not broke, but I plugged in uh, my charging cable and my laptop is just not turning on. So I don't know what's going on, but honestly, I cannot let that ruin my day right now. Let's go to Universal. And by the way, I don't know if you saw, but I got my first official like Taylor Swift CD. I always just stream through music, but now I got the CD, my first CD of Midnight with the Target exclusive bonus track.
Good morning, everybody. Yesterday was the Universal Day for me, and the VIP tour at Universal was pretty fun. I bought a lot of merch. I am getting into like pin collecting, and other than getting pretty motion sick with all the like 3D classes, right? It was still a pretty fun day, really. And today's the big day where I will go to Disney. Yay! Disney parks here in Orlando are huge. If you've seen one of my last videos, you know that I did a VIP tour at Disney in California and it was just honestly not worth it. But this time I'm doing a cheaper option of a VIP tour. I have a local guide with me that knows the way around the park, is a lot cheaper, obviously does not give you like full on front light access, but she knows where to get a fast pass, where to stand in the regular line, what waiting times are okay, what's too long of a wait, and I am really thankful to have someone that knows their way around all those parks, and I hope it's gonna be an awesome day. It's still dark outside, it's pretty pretty early in the morning, I have to go and meet my local Disney guide, I'm super excited, hope you tag along, and look at my cute pin I got at the California parks. It's really cool, right? So. Yeah, let's go. And I've been chilling, watching the ocean with you. Baby up with a slow motion crew. And we up in the growlings when people change, but not us. And we just chilling, kicking it, kissed by the sun. Could be soaked to the skin in the monsoon. I know she got the good.
with a slow motion crew And we up in our growlings when people change but not us And we just chillin', kickin' it, kissed by the sun Could be soaked to the skin in the monsoon I know she got the good vibes when seasons change but when I am so tired. Yesterday was a long, long day. But let me tell you, I did a VIP tour, as I already told you, through like a third party website that is a lot cheaper than the official VIP tour. And I have to be honest, it was amazing. I had Brenda as my tour guide and she literally was the best. She made sure we had so many fast passes. I got to do all four Disney parks in Orlando in one day, which is literally impossible if you do not know where to go and if you don't know your way around. And she made sure I could ride so many rides. Like by the end of the day, I had to be like, Brenda, I know you have all this plan, but I think I'm gonna skip on the last ride because I was so dizzy from riding all those fun and amazing roller coasters. And I got to see the fireworks, and I got to eat churros, and so and so and so and so. Don't get me wrong, it's not cheap, but it's worth the money in my opinion. And yeah, today is a day full of escape rooms. A lot of them I will probably solo play, which is not that common for escape rooms. It's when you actually try to solve the escape room as just one person. I talked to a lot of the owners and they let me do this, so I'm super, super excited. I am currently waiting on my Uber, and first up is the escape game. We got Lockbusters, we got the Bureau, and Escape Goat, so so many escape rooms today. Let's go. And I'll be running, possessed by a lone, lone voodoo. Fired up like a wolf on a full moon. And we're stuck in a la la land, the tides will turn. Good morning, everybody. Yesterday, I played some amazing escape rooms. I went to the escape game and they had so many cool pins for the games you play. At the Bureau, the Puppet Heist game, such a must play. You go alongside a puppet on a heist and it's such amazing storytelling for an escape room. Then I also went to Escape Goat very late yesterday and their quest game was so cool, such lovely owners and game masters there. Today is Doldrick's escape game, so more escape rooms and also escapology. So lots of more escape rooms to play. My Uber's on the way. It's raining outside, which I just hoped Orlando would have been much warmer and better weather, but apparently I went here on a cold front. But that's life, let's go on our journey today. Even if my jokes Good morning, it's a new day. So I know I've said this in the past, SeaWorld is very controversial. So just so you know, I'm aware that it is a sensitive topic. Uh, yesterday, by the way, was a pretty fun day as well. I did all the escape rooms at Daldrick's and visited Escapology. I booked spontaneously two more games for tonight. But for now, let's go to 
SeaWorld. It's the next day, and as you can see, or not see, I got some issues with my camera. Turns out, my camera does not like water. I took the camera on a water ride, and it got a little bit wet, but there was water getting into the lens of the camera. I'm probably gonna resign to my secondary camera, aka my phone. But anyway, yesterday, SeaWorld was pretty Nah, I mean, they had some cold water rides, staff just literally was not caring. And the theme park itself was pretty worn down, so I left pretty early. I went back to the bureau and played some other escape games. I have to say, the bureau, fantastic venue, great escape games. And today I will play some more escape games, obviously. I will visit Escape Effect, I will go to Dare to Escape, and also to Escape Artist, and I will probably do some shopping at the Florida Mall. We'll see. Next day and my camera is working again. Well, working in the sense of that there's no moisture in the lens anymore. So we have a clear picture again, I'm super happy. I still have the issue that I think I maybe broke my laptop. Well, I don't think it's the laptop. Well, I don't know if it's the laptop or if it's my charging cable. There's different outlets here than in Switzerland, but I got everything safe on a separate disc before I came here. I just don't hope it really, really broke, but we'll see when I get back home. For now, today there's more escape rooms. So yesterday I went to Dare to Escape, which I spontaneously fit in, and they had some fun escape rooms. I also did the escape effect, uh, which was so-so, and I also fit in Escape Artist's Dream Room, which had the most convoluted and weird storyline I've seen in a long time in an escape room. This room I had like a love-hate relationship with, but today we're gonna go to Escape Ventures, which will be super fun. I will also do the final of the escape game, which I collected all those pins, and I'm still missing the Mission Mars one, which my game got rescheduled because of some scheduling issues. Excited for today, so let's go play more escape rooms. Oh, and I completely forgot to mention that I also visited the Florida Mall. I went to Bath and Body Works, got a nice scented candle, 
went to Hot Topic, got a cutesy Kirby shirt. Everybody, good morning. Oh, what's my hair doing? Ah, I just got out of the shower. My hair is doing weird things. Anyways, yesterday was one of the best days I had here in Orlando because I got to go to Escape Adventures, which was the escape room company in Orlando that I was looking forward to the most. And I definitely have to say, all their games are definitely the market standouts here in Orlando. It is a queer friendly space and they were so lovely, so nice. They even gave me a discount as a solo player. I got to play all the rooms and I even got to get a little sneak peek in their new Arctic room. And yeah, today is like the last major day. It is actually Thanksgiving. So I will definitely go and check out a very touristic place. It's called Icon Park. They have Ferris wheel, they have Madame Tussauds, they have Sea Life. So it's a very touristic place, I know, but gonna enjoy my last day, keep it simple, and yeah. <laughs> 